Welcome back, folks. Today, we're going to continue our Legend series. Uh, I looked back and I could not believe I had not spoken about the flower, Mr. Guy Lafleur, shown here in this 1983. Fortunate to pick this up uh, many moons ago, and it didn't cost me much, but I'm pretty sure... You know, for something like this in a 10, it would be, my guess is fairly costly. Uh, costly. I don't really know because it's not going anywhere. It's part of my collection. I should probably look it up just to, just so I know. But let's talk about Guy Lafleur. Uh, played, sorry, uh, born September 20th, 1970 in Thurso, Quebec. Um, was elected to the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1988. Actually came out of retirement in 1988 to um, play with two different teams. Um, he played with the New York Rangers and then played with the Quebec Nordiques. But before his first retirement, he played his entire career with the Montreal Canadiens. Um he was the first uh, NHL player in National Hockey League history, score 50 goals in six consecutive seasons, as well as 50 goals and 100 points in six seasons. Um, probably one of the most dynamic players of the 70s. Um, played his junior hockey um, in Quebec with the Quebec Ramparts. Um, you know, was a was a child protege from the age of um, 12 when he um, went to the Quebec Invitational Pee Wee Hockey Tournament, um, scored a record 64 points in very few games. It's a prestigious hockey tournament for young kids that many NHLers have probably played in their lifetime. Um you know, Lafleur was one of those guys who was just dynamic. Um, if I had the video editing power, which I don't, I would probably um, show him, uh, you know, streaking down the right side, taking that shot and beating um, Gilles Gilbert uh, in the in the Stanley Cup uh, uh, playoffs. Um, some of his awards, he's a five-time Stanley Cup champion. Uh, three times he's won the, uh, or sorry, five times he's won the Art Ross Trophy. Sorry, three times. Uh, two times he's won the Hart as a league MVP. Um, three times he's won the Lester B. Pearson Award. Six-time first-team All-Star right winger. And he also won the Conn Smythe as the MVP of the NHL playoffs in 1977. Uh, as far as his career, uh, I don't have it broken down of what his career numbers were prior to his coming out of retirement, but um, he played 1,126 games, amassing 1,353 points. Uh, if I do some quick math, it looks like he only played about 185 games after his retirement, uh, amassing uh, about 107 points. So, I mean, even coming out at 39, 40, and 41, um, he was still a fairly productive player. And uh, memory serves Quebec and New York at that time were not um, high-powered teams. So his final year with the Habs was the 84-85 season and then came out four seasons later for 88-89. Uh, Represented Canada uh, three times, 76, 81, sorry, yeah, 76, 81 for the World Championships and then 81 for the Canada Cup. Um, and was very productive there, played 21, 21 games, amassing 18 points, um, 
was voted one of the 100th greatest players uh, back when they did that award. Uh, it changes all the time when they pick the top 100. So it, it's almost like they should they should do it by decade. And I know some guys amass their career over decades, but there's got to be a better uh, way to do it because guys are always shuffling in and out of that. So as guys become better, some of the weaker hundred guys drop out. And I just, I think that's kind of, uh, you know, you're a, you're in the top 100 at this point, but you know, that was 20 years ago and now you're number 157. But alas, that is pretty much it. The legend of the flower himself, Guy Lafleur. Thanks for watching, guys.